as you can see, there were so many great things at the thrift store. When I went there, I believe I overheard somebody say that an estate had just dropped off practically everything from this one estate. And so they had a lot of things that I almost want to say they, it was like the whole furniture section was like a staged house. Does that make sense? It, it wasn't like set up like an actual house, like chairs were stacked on each other, but you could tell that it was donated from one estate because everything sort of had a cohesive look. And it just so happened that the cohesive look is a style that I like. So I was like, oh my gosh, I want to buy all of this stuff. And there were things that I didn't get. If you saw in the video, I shared some like wicker backed metal chairs. I really wanted those. I thought those were really cool, but I just didn't feel like I had a space for them. And I don't want to be bringing things in our home that I just don't have like an immediate, you know, design idea for. So I resisted the urge to buy those, but I really wish that I had. So let's just jump right into what I have. I ended up needing to put everything away in the attic and um, a little bit in our garage to be able to make room for guests that we have. So I've sort of had to go through the house and find everything again. If I have forgotten anything in this video, I will try to share some like standalone footage of it as I find it later on um, over the next couple days. So let's just jump right into this. So for the first time we hosted a holiday in our home and it was so much fun, but Sean and I were realizing leading up to the holiday that we didn't have have a lot of serving wear we didn't have a lot of like fabric napkins things like that we wanted to make sure that um, that our guests would feel comfortable and that we weren't really scrounging to find things for example we ended up having a few weeks ago we had a birthday party here so we did have some guests here for that but it wasn't like a full meal or anything and we were having a hard time finding bowls serving utensils things like that and so I wanted to make sure that we had more than enough for for that so a lot of this stuff is going to be themed towards serving and um, you know setting up a holiday meal I found some of these really beautiful fabric napkins and I ended up getting four different styles and designs of them and as you can see they're all like fall colors um, and I know I got one more color I just don't know where it is right now I have no idea um, where half of this stuff went so the first ones that I found are these small light brown fabric napkins each of the fabric napkins I believe came from half of them came from the Salvation Army the other half came from a local thrift store and the ones that came from the Salvation Army were I believe they were 99 cents and these ones that came from other stores um, I believe they were two dollars for like a pack of six or eight of them so this first one I found at a local thrift store I'm pretty sure that I found eight of those then I found these larger ones that have a really pretty detail along the side and they're in like this pretty tan color these have a brand on them they say linden street so i really was excited to find those i believe that these were two dollars as well and i found four of them and i know i found a darker brown but i'm not exactly sure where that is right now if i find it i will insert a clip of it here so you can see it and then i found these beautiful orange uh table why do i keep calling them tablecloths these beautiful orange napkins this color, it's really not picking up as vibrant as it is in real life. Such a stunning, stunning look. And I really love that pop of color. So these napkins were definitely more themed toward um, like harvest uh, meals and such. And I had four of the orange napkins. Um, so I'm definitely going to need to find some more, probably for Easter meals and for um, Christmas, you know, just different colors to sort of complement those different holidays. I found these really pretty candelabras. I found two of each style. There are actually two different ones right here. You can see these are slightly taller and a little lighter in the gold color. And then this is uh, slightly darker. So even though this one is taller, this one is actually much more heavy and just more dense. I got two of each of these and it was $2.99. Yes, $2.99 for each set and they were half off. Um, so it was only $1.50 for each set and we just sort of set them around a centerpiece that we had and it was a really really pretty look I feel that gold candle abras you really can't go wrong having them They just match so many different styles and they're a really pretty elegant neutral look and I really like that So I picked up two of or actually I picked up four of those then I found some napkin rings um, I'm going to have to go through I'll probably find the rest of the napkin rings in this bag That's right next to me a little later, but I purchased several different kinds. I just felt like you know part of the reason why we decided to move was because we wanted to have a dining space because we end up being the go-to for a lot of family um you know our house is just sort of in the middle and holidays tend to happen here and um 
I just felt like it was a good investment to buy some napkin rings, some different types of napkins, um, just because it's it's a nice, you know, a nice style, it's a nice look. We want to try to be more environmentally friendly, and so having reusable napkins is a much more environmentally friendly way to do the holidays. Um, and so we decided to invest a little bit in those. And again, investing in thrift store stuff means you're spending like a dollar for each thing. So all of that to say, these were the napkin rings that we ended up using for Thanksgiving. How cute are these? I was a little nervous that they were a little too like traditional Thanksgiving and I felt like it might not really work but I ended up sharing them with my sisters and they thought they were really cute and I was like okay like if you guys like them I'm cool to use them. I ended up finding 12 of them which was perfect. I think it was less than four dollars for all of them and I got 12. I'll probably come back to some napkin rings a little later but for now I'm just going to move on to what's right next to me. So then, as I said, we needed some serving ware, and I, it's almost like it was meant to be, and I know I've shared that with you guys before, how sometimes when I go thrifting, I find things that I really need. Other times I go and I can't find anything that I'm actually looking for, but it was like I was meant to go thrifting to find everything that we need. Here is another piece that I got for our holiday celebrations. Just this serving plate, very, you know, simple and unique, um, but you know, nothing too crazy. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. I really like this detail that it has around um, the middle here on the bottom. And then that was $2.99 and half off as well. So many things were half off. Then this next piece that I found is so beautiful. I feel like it's almost, it's almost like an emerald, like jewel in our home. Oh my gosh, this is so stunning so we were able to use this to serve veggies and cheese and like you know little appetizers but is this like a beautiful cut emerald i am obsessed with this thing i saw it and at first i thought it was plastic and i was like if it's plastic i'm not gonna get it but it is in fact glass and it's just stunning i just think it's so beautiful i love this cutout around the side i don't know I could have a whole set of these. And we're going for a more earthy, sort of bohemian look to our home. And I feel like this is perfect for that. Um, so I picked this up, it was $2.99, and it was also half off. This next thing is not a thrifted find, but it sort of goes with everything else that um, I'm sharing with you. So my sister Keely is actually moving to Los Angeles, which I'm really sad about. And they've been cleaning out their home. Her and her husband have been cleaning out their apartment in the city. and. Um, in, in New York City and she's been gifting us some of the pieces that they don't want to bring with them so this is a little what would you even call this it's like a placemat but it could go in the middle of a table um, it's sort of like a trivet where you wouldn't have to worry about the heat getting through it but it's just made out of wood um, it's a, almost like a wicker basket design I found this really pretty Christmas either tablecloth I think it is a tablecloth or a little throw blanket it is so beautiful and it's actually coming across night not quite the colors that it actually is it is a red a gold with like gold lining and then some black but also some really dark green this part is actually like a dark green but i just think it's so pretty oh you can kind of see the green a little bit more right here i just think it's a really pretty simple design and it's to me it screams holiday i might use it as a tree skirt um, actually it was three dollars and half off I definitely paid up for this next piece this is a tablecloth that I found at a local thrift store um, and I just thought it was really pretty It's kind of hard to see in this lighting you can kind of see it sparkle it's this off-white sort of tan like woven with like tan different colors um, tablecloth but it has some silver thread woven through it so if the light hits it just right it sparkles and it's the threshold brand I believe yep it's threshold I saw it sitting in the thrift store and I'm like that is a expensive tablecloth it was actually six dollars but it's in really good condition I opened it up and I looked at it um, and it's a neutral color, but those that added little sparkle that you can kind of see in different lighting, I think adds a really unique touch to it and just gives it a little different of a feel. Um, so I didn't mind spending $6 on it. And this was probably like 20 bucks new. So, and it's a really heavy material. I'm hoping it'll fit our table. Our table is giant, but um, I'm hoping that it'll fit it. And um, you know, I was, 
I would like to spend less than $6 for something like this, but it's a decent, um, you know, well-made and also nice quality tablecloth, which I don't have many of right now. And we're also trying to collect different tablecloths just so we have a variety for different holidays. I just found some of the other napkin rings that we, we found. Um, I found these plastic ones that are brown. These were, I think that the bag was a dollar. I don't see a price on it. They're the brand Usra, Usra, made in Japan. Um, and they're just plastic. And I found six of them. So I think having neutrals is a good idea so you can have, um, you know, style them for a variety of different seasons. Next one I found, I thought were also really pretty. They are wooden napkin rings. And I thought that the designs were really pretty. So we have this dark wood right here and it has some carving in the middle of it. Thought that was a, a pretty look. And I think that they sort of match these ones, these are the lighter version. Oh yeah, they definitely do. These were not packed together though. These were on their own and then this was separate. I have, oh, I have only three of those, I think. But that's okay, you can mix and match them. And then the final ones I found are these. These were my favorite. I have the light wood with le with uh, lines of the dark wood woven in the middle. I really like these ones. I think they could almost look really nice at a table setting if they were like mixed and matched. So I'm going to keep all of these wooden ones together because you could definitely mix and match a really unique look for that. And they were a dollar. I think this this um, pink ribboned one was the whole bag was a dollar and then the pink ribbon one came separately and that was also a dollar. So two dollars I think for all of those. We're about halfway through. I think we're about halfway through. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I love sharing with you guys everything that I find at the thrift store. Um, and I know you guys like it too. Then I found some Tupperware. I thought this was a super great find. I, I don't know, you can spend so much on Tupperware um, and to have all of this you know matched and ready to go. And it was $4 half off, so only $2 for the whole set. Then I found some pillows. The first one I found is this light tannish one and it has a, a bit of a wavy woven pattern to it. I'm going to be putting these on our couch in the living room. I actually ran them through the dryer on like super high heat, so I think they're okay to use. I don't see any washing instructions on them. I would like to wash them. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, but I thought they were just a nice added touch to our living room. They were $3, $2.99, and then half off. Then I found these navy blue ones. It's almost like a turquoise navy. They are the brand Cynthia Rowley. These were also $2.99 and half off. I was thinking about putting these downstairs um, in Sean's man cave area to sit on the furniture that we have down there now, but I really liked the color and um, Sean liked them as well. So these were also $2.99 and half off. Found a couple more bowls to serve in for holidays. This one I thought was a pretty find. Just has really pretty cut glass, almost like a sun pattern on the inside. This was $2.99 and also half off. The last piece of glassware that I found is this bowl. It has a really pretty like wavy design on it and um, I thought that was a pretty pretty touch to the piece. This was also $2.99 and half off. So I actually found this quite a while ago but I ended up not sharing it with you guys. I just for totally forgot about it. I found this really cool wicker um, mirror and I just felt like this really encapsulates the look that we're going for in our new space. Um, just a really sort of boho chic um, sort of thrown together look, but in and like intentionally thrown together. Um, and so I thought this was really pretty. It's in really great condition. And it was only $2.99 and it was also half off. Then I found this gorgeous basket. Oh my gosh, this thing is so beautiful, so sturdy. It was $5.99 and half off. But look at the, the braids that are woven through it. It's so pretty. And um, I love the detail on the top. It has so many different textures to it. We have a faux monstera plant and I wanted to find a different basket for it. It had been in a white container that I found at Dollar Tree, which looked fine, but the plant itself was almost too big for it and it just sort of looked out of place. So I thought that this would be perfect for it and the plant fits in there so nicely. It's sitting in our dining room right now and it looks it looks really nice. And that's it for this thrift haul and shop with me video. I hope that you enjoyed coming with me to my local thrift stores and seeing everything that I could find. I found so many amazing deals and I'm just so excited to share them with you all. I hope that you have enjoyed the process of seeing everything that I found. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure that you like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, 
watching, you can follow me on Facebook at the Thrifted Living page. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!